for like a week, I was taking cold showers. Taking cold showers? Yeah, I took cold showers for a week. What's um, the reason? Um, I was watching a YouTuber named Emily Hucker. Uh, shout out to my good friend Emily. Not <laughs> Emmy. Uh, she's not my friend, but I actually messaged her on Instagram a long while back and she replied and I was like super nice of her. Um, so I sent her a dick pic and uh, she sent one back and I was like, oh shit. And uh, stop talking to her. No, I'm just joking. Um, I, I did message her but a long while back, but I know I did not send her nothing. Uh, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> Am I right, Imad? Oh, we were young back then. Oh my simple God. Secondary. Um, no, but anyways, no, I was watching one of her videos where she um, uh, like took cold showers. She said she took it for a year or something like that. And she was name, naming the um, uh, their benefits and stuff. One of them being like helping with anxiety. It's good for your skin, your hair, um, some other things exactly. Um, and it's oh yeah, uh, like being better with cold temperatures and stuff. Stuff. And I was like, you know, that sounds like some cool stuff. I'll give it a shot. Um, was she just saying it, or is it like scientifically? Um, I know, yeah. like stuff like that is like research. But like Amber, she was like talking about it. It's like yeah, and I just like. I'll, like, I'll link the description in the video in the below, but mm -hmm. that's a pretty funny video and she's like, yeah, like, uh, I don't bother on, on uh, telling you where I found these resources because she's, she's like, don't go through the effort, but yeah. Um, yeah, I'm sure it's out there and I, and I trust her. Did you, um, did you used to shower in like really hot water before? Um, I used, yeah, really hot water, sometimes it's normally decently warm sometimes, but uh, for, there was a period, um, I don't know if it was right before those I was doing hot showers but uh, sometimes I do it in my mood and it feels, it feels really good sometimes the, like yeah like guess my back is a little itchy so I put some hot water and it feels good <laughs> it's really weird but I don't know if that's normal or not but um yeah and then I gave up uh after a week because I you know I was like I was getting stressed I was like I have to go take a cold shower and I was like shit <laughs> oh, you were getting stressed about the cold yeah, shower. Yeah, and I wasn't like, I was up for it. So it was know? causing you. It was causing more stress, and I was like, this is like anxiety. A, this is a paradox. Well. I was like, oh, take more of them then. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was a, it was like a tough little situation I was in. So one whole week. Um, yeah, I think it was about a week or so. I don't remember exactly. So comparing your first day to, I'm guessing you did it today as well. So. Hmm. No, I stopped a good like a few days ago, four days ago. What? Well, what was the reason? <clears throat> um. I don't know, I just miss taking warm showers. <laughs> um, like, I, I did an adjustment though. Like, I take warm showers not as hot anymore because like, I know like generally like the hot water on your skin and your hair isn't ideal. So, yeah. so I, I took my, my showers are still warm. So I'm like looking forward to showers again. Did excited. you find that your showers were shorter since it's so cold? 100% yeah. I realized like sometimes like, I took warm showers again recently, right? And I, I was like, oh, I'm here a little longer than usual. Because yeah. Yeah, I, like, I was like, get in, get out. Um, get the job done, get the job finished, and get it out. And it was, you know, that that end was nice. Um, it obviously is also great for like you know environmental reasons as well. Yeah. But I mean, for the like for the longest time now, like for over a year or so, I've been like I would just stop, turn off the water, put the soap on and stuff like that, and then turn on the water again. So like I'm already doing some sort of environmental reasons. Uh, things regarding showers anyway um, but no, I, I gave up because I want to take warm showers but I do um, end up the, the showers in cold water um, I'm not too sh honestly I didn't do too much research and if that's still good or not um, yeah. some one of my people I work with said that and I was like okay <laughs> started doing that yeah. No, no, I heard something similar like taking cold showers, how it like increases your energy levels yeah. and stuff like that. So I, I do do something similar as well. Like, yeah. Um, because I heard like washing your hair, like you shouldn't wash it with super hot water. Yeah. A lot of people, surprisingly, even at my workplace, I used to ask around because I'm like um, growing out my hair, so I want it healthy when it's growing out. And then um, I used to ask people, I'm like, oh, what do you do? Like people who I, I, I think I'm like, oh, I see their hair. I'm like, oh, it looks pretty healthy. They're like boiling hot water. I'm like, mm. I don't think that's good for you. Like it's not good for your scalp or anything like um, anything like super hot water. Like if it's so hot, like you can't keep your hand and you're like showering in it. Like your skin is just like okay. pink. <laughs> like <laughs> you're cooking your yeah, skin. Dude, legit, I would come out of the shower sometimes and my like yeah. upper body is just red. 
<laughs> obviously because my skin but like yeah also because it's hot yeah um yeah I'm, i think but honestly i think my body's immune to it right now like growing up ever since i was a kid i would like not use conditioner i would i used to um shampoo my hair every single night um and i would shower twice a day um hot showers as well and i did that all through youth and i wouldn't even put body lotion on my body afterwards and that was all my youth. that's what i think my like my skin is generally indestructible now but i mean i put body lotion on now do less hot showers and i shampoo like um once a week <clears throat> and and i and i condition regularly compared to not doing condition using conditioner in the past so i think your know. skin looks nicer though since you did i mean your skin was nice but uh, <laughs> the cold showers it looks more uh uh more like shiny um i think it's like using mm-hmm. a, i'm using a different sunscreen a different sunscreen yeah before I was using anti shine sunscreen, and then I got a new sunscreen, and then you know sunscreen's a little is it shiny. Like shiny. <laughs> because like sunscreen is generally sunny shot, uh, yeah. a little shiny. I'm still um, using the same one we bought from uh, Walmart. Well, back, that. Money back when. Yeah, when we when we want. Uh, yeah. Um, body, it's body. Thing. I like. I don't know, man. I need to buy a separate one for my yeah, face. Face sunscreen. I got body yeah. face sunscreen. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a re. Uh, I gotta buy a bunch of like different products again <laughs> <laughs> i use it on my just use it on my face <laughs> welcome to sabera guys uh, of course i'm matthew and alongside me as always most of the time pretty much all the time imad <laughs> um i was curious imad i know like i spend a lot of my days watching yeah. tv mm-hmm do you have a favorite TV show? Favorite TV show? Yeah. Mm. So, not from TV itself, but uh, it's a series okay. on, um, it's an anime series. So it's okay. called uh, Demon Slayer. Um, it's a couple episodes, but it came out like, people who watch anime, they know, or they have to know what Demon Slayer is, or Jujutsu Kaisen. So Demon Slayer, it's about like uh i think they're like samurais slash ninjas but there's uh there's demons like in the world and then um they go around like finding these demons because these demons like they go around like they feed off humans so these guys are like they train as like samurais Mm -hmm. and then um once they they complete their training like then they're sent off to go do missions so um, there's like three guys and they're going off doing missions. So I'm watching that right now. Also watching another one. It's like a, it's called One Piece. Um, it's like a pirate, pirate anime. So like he's going around the world. He's trying to be like the king of the pirates. So he's going around. He's trying to find the One Piece. It's a treasure. And then um, just going on a bunch of adventures. But right now, um, those are the two shows I'm watching right now. Uh, I'm enjoying it a lot. Uh, One Piece has a lot of episodes, like a thousand episodes. So <laughs> I'm not watching that. Yeah, I, I'd recommend um, <laughs> for those of uh, of you who are watching. But uh, it's a show called Parasite. It's also another anime. It's like twelve episodes. Uh, it's honestly one of my favorite um, shows that I watch. Like, um, like I, I watch Prison Break, Office, and stuff like that. Those are my other favorite shows. But like Parasite's like up there like it's only 12 episodes long but there's a lot of like philosophical questions and stuff like that we so, had an episode about yeah. stuff like that yes <laughs> <laughs> so but yeah. what do you have uh, a show that's your favorite favorite like oh top top of the line uh yeah number one number one because my uh, favorite question was what was your favorite tv show of all time i thought so, you know, like what are you watching right now no, i would have said that i thought you said that <laughs> I thought you said that. <laughs> no, so what's your favorite TV show? Oh, favorite TV. I thought you said, oh, what do you, so I watch TV. Like, what do you watch on the TV right now? Oh, like, um, no. Yeah. Oh, favorite scroll, TV show. Scroll back, guys. Oh, okay. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> okay. Who's lying. Favorite. Uh, <laughs> so favorite TV show of favorite all time. Favorite all time, yeah. Um, I have a couple at number one, but I'll just go by uh, <laughs> my nostalgic one since I was growing up as a kid, uh, Dragon Ball Z. Oh. Okay. Favorite TV show. Um, soon you'll see some stickers on my pink water bottle shout out to my brother for buying this water bottle but um yeah so dragon ball z grew up watching that show and then um uh i'm sure you know what dragon ball z is i'm hoping 
you know, some people they don't know it. I love Goku. Yeah, no, but I, yeah, no, that that's a show I grew up watching every Saturday as a kid. I was like looking forward to. That's how I went. So soccer and Dragon Ball Z. What's that's the that. difference between Naruto and uh, Dragon Goku. Ball Z? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Just, honestly, um, those shows to me are basically the same because I don't watch okay. anime. Like I've seen anime a little bit. Yeah. Um, kind of more, I guess, kind of whitewashed more ones like um, Avatar or something like that. Yeah. Uh, and I watched some things that my girlfriend uh, introduced me to, but like I never really watched too much anime shows. I say yeah. I'm an anime fan, and honestly, I don't think I am. Yeah. Um, I don't dislike it. I just don't like it enough to watch it. If yeah. that makes sense. No, no. no um, like so I, didn't, I didn't grow up watch. Like I watched Dragon Ball Z, but I didn't get into anime. Like I, my brother used to watch it, and I used to go, "Why are you watching anime?" And I'm like, "Only nerds watch that and stuff." And then I started getting into it. I'm like, "Oh, it's yeah. actually like it has an interesting storyline as well." Yeah. But um, Dragon Ball Z is like um, so Goku, Vegeta, and stuff like that. Like Goku is from another planet called Planet Vegeta. And then his race is called the Saiyan race. You have a Vegeta, don't you? I have a Vegeta, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, sorry, yeah. but it, he's a Saiyan race. And then um, they get sent to planets to like conquer the planets. I like, think Vegeta was a person. Vegeta is a person. But the, also a planet? Yeah, so like his father was uh, a king of that planet. Oh. So they call it Planet v- Vegeta. But um, I think it's something similar to like I'm not if sure. If you had to make one person king of Earth, who would that be for you? One person king of Earth. Hmm. We're talking about like cartoon characters. Uh, no, a real person. Uh, I, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> person would be a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm a, I thought we were on the theme of TV shows uh, right now. I mean, yeah, but like, there's really okay. cool TV shows too. Right? Okay. Um, I'm sorry, no, I got a little tough topic. So I know. I'm like, I'm like, Shit, where are we going? <laughs> Okay. Um, then not to stay on topic. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> king of the earth. Yeah. Why not queen of the earth? Um. I mean, there's kings and queens. They sometimes rule right. together. Okay. Um. But no. Supreme leader. It's because no one's gonna listen to a queen, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Oh. Uh, good uh, um, our last episode, guys. Matthew sorry. said that. Not me. Um. Okay. So. You uh, wrote king the of the scripts. <laughs> um. King of the earth. Um. <laughs> Honestly, I wanted to say Goku, but I know this guy like it's not the smartest. So, um, <laughs> I would I would like uh, Naruto. You know, I think he has good morals and stuff like that. Out of so. all people, you choose Naruto to be king of Earth. Yeah, like Hokage, Hokage. So like leader of of the Earth. Why? Who would you choose? Me, probably. And then I also have some like, and I'm not the smartest dude, but I also have a bunch of smart ass advisors. <laughs> Tell me out. <laughs> but if it had, if it couldn't, if it was not, I know it's an easy answer. So if it wasn't me, I'd choose my brother. Um, and if it wasn't him, <laughs> okay, it's it just all about it. Family, all right? about. Keep it in the family. Right? Um, okay. No, no. If it had to be someone like actually like, that would make sense. Um, who is that someone, Matthew? We're ask. You ask the question. Who would you want, King of Earth? King of Earth. You can't just say someone. That's actually hard the question. Um, <laughs> um, I would say Ricky Gervais because he makes me laugh, um, and some like I kind of like generally believe things he believes. Um, I wouldn't say I would believe everything he said believes because you know you shouldn't say that by anybody really. But I would say generally I like what he goes for, goes goes by and uh, that or John Oliver because. He's a Liverpool, Liverpool, <laughs> Liverpool fan. Liverpool. Fan. Yeah, but a uh, real pe- well, a real person. Who would you nominate to be king of a real person? I choose myself then too. Okay. <laughs> well, here we go again. <laughs> yeah, uh, I choose. Okay. It. How about choose like that. not not family related? Not family related. Okay. Hmm. Honestly, I can't just choose at the top of my head. You know, I need, I need, I can't just say super, uh, at a superficial level, just like, because I need to, I need to get to know that person, you know, like people in power, they act different. Oh, yeah? 
Yeah, like you, I, I think you would act different if you, you had think I would act power. Differently? Yeah, uh, I think you would go on power trips. No, I don't like you, dead. I, I wouldn't kill them. I'd probably just uh, put them in like some kind of like uh, prison. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say like a camp or something. <laughs> it sounds like <laughs> yeah. That's some, that, I mean, prison's a nice way of saying camp for me. Oh okay. Mind camp. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be. Like, <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> I'm not cutting that. Watch us get assassinated. <laughs> I'm not gonna cut, cut that out because uh, we're, we're short in time this episode. Uh, yeah. I'm not gonna get into details why. I mean, maybe let's get into details why. Oh, okay. Some two mother. Truckers. Mother Truckers, uh, Mother Huckers, um, uh, booked this room before us. Um, because believe it or not, this is not our own studio yet, so please, um, if you're interested in us having a cool studio, please send us funds and we'll definitely put that into our studio funds. Um, but not only they booked it before us, and then we let them have a few minutes to get out, um, and they were not as cool this time as they were last time, so we'll make sure we book this room ahead of time. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, I cut you off from explaining uh, Naruto and stuff like that because I, oh, yeah. I can care less. No, you um, need to watch it. Once you watch it... No, I, I don't think... I have so much better things to watch like um, soccer or football, European football, depending on where you're watching from. Mm-hmm. Um, fair enough. It's not you know, for anybody, everybody, but... I mean, I'm sure I might like, be okay with it, but... Honestly, the way sometimes people talk about it gets me so annoyed. So yeah. it's like, you know, I mean, I'm, you like, no. <laughs> I mean, you're asking me about the show. I have to talk about. Yeah, it. I know it's my fault. But, <laughs> you can't, like, you can't be guy. like you ask about the I show. Like, like, I, I don't like. I people. ask people like, oh, how yeah. are you doing? And then they start telling me, and then I just call my phone. You know. Like, oh okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> you're doing okay. No, but um, mm-hmm. no, no. I, I I do like the show a yeah. lot. Like those two shows, grew up watching, watching it and stuff. But yeah, what well, what are the, your top top shows? Um, I would say my if I had to say just one, it would be The Office. I hate saying that. American now. or the British? Uh, sure. American. I mean, I think the 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 British one would probably be still definitely in my top five. Um, but not the American version. Because I watched that one first. Um, I hate saying that's my favorite show because I know it's like a, a huge fan base now more than it was before. I used to watch it when I was still on TV and not as big and not like not really on Netflix and stuff like that. And I was so basic. Uh, you know me. <laughs> no, I like The Office too. Um, what what but, character do you uh, relate to? Um, Dwight. Michael Scott probably. Michael Scott. Yeah. Interesting. Um, but no, I hate like that'd be my favorite because like a lot of young kids now, kids that I don't relate to, and find annoying. Um, the whole our whole fan base. <laughs> um, no, I'm joking, but uh, I like it, and then they suck. We oh, lose all our 28 and, and subscribers, they, and then they're like, oh, you know, uh, I can't like if you don't like The Office, or oh, my Tinder profile, Office jokes, or Office memes. They're like, ha ha ha, and it's just so annoying. It's like. I love The Office, and, but I think, to be honest, I don't remember every episode. I don't remember some things, some things that happened because I watched it a long time ago. Where these kids are like, oh, you don't remember this? I, I, thought, you're free, I thought you are a big fan. And it's like, bro, I watched it like this many years ago, and you just watched it last week. You just finished it last week. Like, chill. Um, yeah. But if I say like some of my top favorite shows would probably be, uh, alongside that would be Sex Education, uh, End of the Effing World. Um, uh, like some of the classics, like How I Met Your Mother. Uh, I like Afterlife with Wicked Gervais, and then like um, uh, I like Derek, the show he wrote as well. Uh, I like some other ones. I'm, I'm, I I was gonna make a, a, a list before I came out here because like there's a lot. Your number one though. Your number one. One one's Office, of course. Office. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I was gonna make a list because like I remember like there's like so many shows I like, but this I watched so many and I like, enjoyed many a lot of shows. So I don't remember everything, but. All right, let's go top five right now. So you did office, office, sex education, um, how much your mother. So it can be from any timeline, from your kid to now. Oh, uh, I, I don't know. Pass. Maybe another time. Okay. Maybe I have to have some time to think about it. Yeah. Um, is there any shows that you you watched 
um, for like a while you're watching like you watch the first few seasons or whatever and you're loving it and then let's say season five comes out and you're like oh, fuck they're like oh shoot I hate the show now it's just like trash now is there any shows like that for you? I think it's a show we both uh, watch so it's called The 100 it's actually uh, <laughs> oh, I forgot filmed in BC so um, I actually I was really like into that show I was like caught up until the last season because there's this one character on the show uh, named Clark I, I was just really annoyed with Clark like there's, there's so many reasons but to a point that I signed up on an extra website where I could be a background actor and I wanted to go on the show and grab like a prop spear and just like during the scene when they had Clark I wanted to be like this is for uh, I forgot one crew or something <laughs> take the spear and then like just chuck it at Clark are you with one crew or are you against one crew um, I'm with one crew respect you know and you're like you're all for the red queen Red Queen? One Hater? One, no, no, no. Oh, not One Hater. Yeah, right. I completely forgot that. That's, you know, my brain just deleted it because I was so angry. That's a good one. At yeah. Clark. Yeah. I agree. Like, I, I finished the whole episode, all the whole series. You told me it was trash, like, the last season, the so last I, season. I didn't even watch it. Yeah, it wasn't, like, trash. Okay, I wouldn't want to say, I don't really say Lodge was a trash. It was, it's it just not, yeah, it wasn't good. Like, the ending was, like, I could see how they wanted to be, like, sweet and stuff, but I just didn't feel it. You know, I just didn't really feel it. Like, the first few, like, seasons or whatever. Uh, it was an interesting show, but uh, yeah, it, was, it started going on the downhill trend. That I, I completely forgot about that, but yeah, that was a disappointing. It show. was one of my favorite shows. Like it started off like slow. A lot of people were I like, hated the first season. Yeah, the first season you could tell like they didn't have. I think like their budget was probably not that much, and then I didn't like, like the first season because it was too like. Oh, I thought he loved me. No, she loves me. Oh, da, 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 da. Yeah, and the acting and was, was like, like, and it was like so cringe, right? It was like Riverdale, like yeah all seasons um, i never watched riverdale i'm on it but i never watched it uh, <laughs> anyways um uh yeah like and then like second season was good um i think uh, the next season or two were good i don't yeah. remember honestly it kind of mishes all together and i don't remember specific you know i have a bad memory um hire me uh no i got I, i'm gonna stick my job for now but <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, that was a good one. Another another one for me would be The Flash. The Flash. Yeah. yeah um, I, if you guys ever watch it, season one it was really good. Um, season two, I think was okay as well. Not as good as season one. And um, and then just start getting trashed. The writing was poor. You can tell they're writing the show for like thirteen year olds. Um, it's like you get, there's like a a woman that like yeah, there's like for example there's a character in the show that's supposed to be like. Uh, 28 and then there, she's like crying over some stupid shit like I don't want to spoil it for people that happen maybe are watching it and I don't know but it was so it started getting so cringe and like the, 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 you could tell their budget wasn't that big too mm-hmm. and it was like I was embarrassed to watch it like for a certain period and um, like uh, I, forgot, I forgot what I was going to say but like it was just like like the, oh yeah, like the writing was like poor and I was just like uh, I, I remember like I would just watch it as like a chore, I was like, oh, I gotta watch another episode. It's out now. Okay, I'll watch it. Kind of deal. I wasn't like, I wasn't like enjoying watching it anymore. Similar to Arrow as well, and probably most of the whole Arrowverse. I was like, kind of big on it. If you knew me way back when, I was a big fan. I'm embarrassed now, um, but yeah, like the first few episodes, seasons of Arrow were pretty good, and then it was kind of got kind of down. Had the similar effect as as Flash, but luckily Arrow was supposed to be a more darker show so they didn't get as cringe as The Flash. Mm-hmm. Um, did you watch any of those things? No, I, I didn't because like, I know it's like, there's just so many things I'm like, I need to finish one at a time otherwise it's going to take forever. I, I did, I did watch a bit of, what was it, Iron Fist? Yeah. Yeah, Iron Fist, the He was the on show. Uh, our anniversary episode which was uh, episodes ago. <laughs> Not him. I watched him too. Mind. I watch them too. Um, I try not to. Shout out to uh, Iron Fist. I watch you at night, but um, oh yeah, you're, you're there too. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I see. You, I always see a shadow in the, in the camera I have in his room. Uh, you know, did you, you watch okay. Thirteen Reasons Why? No. Oh, okay, never mind. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna give a reference to it, but um, for those of you uh, who watched it, I, I don't remember completely, but there's a camera guy in that. I was that guy in uh, for Iron Fist though, but. Um, 
So basically, okay, uh, are you gonna watch Thirteen Reasons yeah. Why? Okay, so there's this uh, uh, spoiler warning, I guess. If you watch, if you um, yeah, spoiler warning. I mean, that show's been out for. I, it's yeah. I don't know. I think they came out with a new season. I don't know. I just watched the first season, but there's this character on the show. Like he's the, I think the, the yearbook photographer or something. But he's like he was a creep. He took like pictures of the girl, or doing something, or, but. Um, yeah, I was, that's what I was referring to. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear it on the news actually? Some guy, I think he was going to UBC and he was like filming and there's like, I guess, I think it was UBC and they had like units, uh, gender neutral washrooms. Mm -hmm. And he's apparently filming girls like under the stall. And he apparently did it more than once. I didn't hear that. Yeah. That's um, and apparently like, the police officers at the time was like, oh, don't um, press charges because it's going to ruin his career because he was like getting an educated engineer or something, something like that. And then she's like, oh, okay, I won't press charges. Yeah. And then eventually they, they doing it. The police advised her not to press charges? Yeah, they're like, yeah, I think so. Um, don't quote me on that. Please do your own research into the article. Um, I know I appear very smart, especially beside Imad. Um, not right but now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, it was uh, pretty, uh, pretty scary and yeah. pretty uh, sad to hear that that's going on. That's pretty. Uh, pretty I mean, uh, it's it's crazy. Like, um, like what dudes do, but we're we're just not exposed to it. But like um, at my workplace, even like there's this guy. He came into our workplace and then. He was taking pictures of one of my coworkers, like, but so he came in and he was like, no one noticed, like, so we're just helping all the customers, and obviously, like, like she's not gonna be paying attention to everyone having phone, but the way this guy came in was like he he walked behind her and he had his camera like by his leg, and he was taking, and no one would have noticed, like, some people they walk with a camera like this, right? Yeah. But one of my other coworkers saw him like oh, take a picture okay. and then he uh he left and then he came in again and then um Around she there. told the store manager and they kicked him out they made sure like he i think deleted the photos from his phone and then they kicked him out no oh, sure but yeah he looked like a like like a chill dude like i was like oh what's up man like he was talking about it and i was like what the so messed up what's also messed up is um from what i heard about the last season of brooklyn 99 um, I was a big fan of that show. Uh, that was that was well written, good jokes and stuff. But um, I heard all the how tra the last season was trash, and I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. My brother watched and he was telling me about it, and I trust my brother's view on it because we generally have the same outlook on shows and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, apparently it was just a little bit too uh, pushing agenda like. Um, we won't get into details of pushing an agenda. Yeah, I don't want to get into details of uh, politically related situations here. Yeah. We're a politically free podcast. Viewers from both sides. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, that was another thing that disappointed me. I'm gonna plan on watching it though because I wanted to see how trash it is. Um, mm -hmm. Just so I can uh, have an angry conversation with my brother because my brother was really passionate about how trash that last season was because we both enjoyed that show a lot and. Um, if you ha uh, have you ever like watched any shows in general that you just watched it for the sake of it, like uh, you um, you stop you didn't really enjoy it anymore. You were just kind of like watching it as like a chore, like I was with someone else. Yeah, uh, I think one of the shows right now at the top top of my head, um, I think it was Prison Break, oh, the yeah. second second season. No, no, um, I don't want to dis Prison Break, so I didn't give a chance to the second season. So I watched the first one. Yeah. A bit escaped and stuff, but uh, <laughs> suits. Spoiler. Oh, suits. Oh. So suits was really good for me. Like I think the first few episodes are the seasons, but then one, it started getting one. repetitive to me, and then towards the end, like it was getting like very. Did you finish uh, it? I didn't finish I suits because because that's when it started feeling like a chore, like you said, like yeah. Um, it was getting repetitive to me. It's like oh, uh, he brings up the case, and then the other guy like solves it, and then and, like it kept becoming repetitive I'm like I started I was able to predict what was gonna happen next so it became too predictable and I was like I'm not gonna finish this I completely forgot about that one yeah I was saying yeah. I didn't finish it either I really enjoyed the first few seasons and then yeah. like, I think when he started going to jail and I was like oh okay this is kinda getting yeah. boring and 
then like then they didn't I think I was like watching as a chore as well and then like they didn't have the updated seasons on Netflix yet so I just kind of like stopped then I heard the, that like um, Meghan Markle was leaving the show and then I heard that the um, the other guy is leaving the show the main character guy oh yeah I heard that too and I was like I'm like I'm not gonna get back into this I'm annoyed, annoyed now yeah. there's too much of like information I'm hearing I was like yeah so like it's, it's, it's so awkward when like the, the main characters leave the show it's like um it's like Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Have you have you watched? Of course, yeah. And okay, like, but remember, um, mom. Yeah, <laughs> and this, like <laughs> they change your like half like so you you're like you know you're bonding with these characters and you're like you're going through the seasons and then all of a sudden they switch the mo- the aunt yeah. so you're just like who is this like this is not Aunt Viv. <laughs> yeah, I feel uh, I had to write a show for like a network, let's say CBC. <laughs> mm-hmm. like, like it's gonna make any difference. Um, what would your show be about? I think we discussed this before, but I don't wanna put my idea out on uh, YouTube so for someone else to steal, cause I feel like it would be a good show. Fair enough. In case our simp hour becomes huge, then yeah, we, we can just find our own it. show. Uh, yeah. yeah. But I'm not gonna say my idea either then. Yeah, but so like it is something from I think a similar experience. But I, think I wanted to make a um, a tutorial video on how to be, um, like yeah. Uh, but yeah, 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 I think you know what <laughs> I'm talking about. Yeah. But um, I was I was thinking for the longest time to write my own p- the pilot of an of a TV show I want to write. Yeah. Just write the pilot and to see if like it's actually good and stuff, and then see if I can somehow get picked up by someone, and then let's have high writers work yeah. with me to write it. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. I, I wanted it to be like an office style, like I would have made yeah, like, like the way it directed. Yeah. Like I would have it like like here, and we're talking here, and then it, it's just like today. Um, but <laughs> oh my god, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't talk about that. Yeah, let's say let's say you're, you're writing. You're let's say you're just um, doing a show just generally about Iman's life. Okay. Yeah. Would you? Um, who would you cast in your show to play um, people you like? Who would who would you cast as yourself? As myself, yeah. I, I do not know that many actors, so I, I can't see, see myself like casting. Um, I actually have an actor that in mind that would play Sham. Sham? Yeah. Who? If you ever watch, I don't, I don't know the actor's name, but if you guys ever watch Kim's Convenience on yeah. CBC and Netflix, um, uh, uh, there is a character that plays a doctor that the, the mm-hmm. um, girl main character um, plays Janet. Yeah. And um, I think he would be perfect Sham. I'll show you him later. Okay. Maybe if I remember, I'll. Pop his face up on oh, this just episode. Put, like, <laughs> um, How about you? Yeah. Like, who do you th- want playing you? Um, I had a few ideas in mind, but then I feel like that'll be too big of a budget. Um, cause as it's okay, like the show can be like shit, but then you can just have like a really good <laughs> lead. <laughs> um, so like, I was thinking for for myself, and like I've got um, people have been like saying like, oh, you look like this guy, this guy. So some of them would be like, oh. Timothy Chalamet would play me, or Harry Styles, or Tom Holland. I think those guys would be like who would play me, because um, I've been told I look like all those guys at one point, which is uh, compliment to them, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, who would you cast as uh, your uh, partner? Who would I cast as my partner? I have an idea of who I'd cast in mind. I have a couple. I heard she looks like, uh, I forgot her name, um, is this porn star? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot her name. Sure you did, Imad. <laughs> yeah, no, um, I, I have no idea, actually, um, who, who's that person you had in mind? For, for mine? For yeah. my partner? I would cast, um... Janet from from Kim Kim's Convenience. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe I'll pop her up here. Like, put, put, put so much work in my Kim's stuff. Convenience just has your whole. They do have a lot of cast. cast. Um, or this is a girl that played uh, Slade's daughter in Titans. Uh, maybe her. Mm-hmm. Um, those are the ones I can think of right now. I'm trying to think who would play you. I can play me. Maybe would you, uh, would you uh, if you had a radio show about your life? Would you play yourself or would? would I, you I think I would play myself. Like uh, I would make a, um, like how the, so I would like be narrating it. 
Mm. But you wouldn't play yourself. You just I, I would play myself, and, and then when it, uh, when I get older in the in the show or something, like I, I just like put someone else. But like I just mm. want to be like, oh, like okay. so I would be talking, like you know, um, I forgot. There's the show. It's like, and then they pause it, and then they're like. And this is why it's going on, guys. Like here is like this is where I messed up. And then, and then like, I so much like how much your mother. Yeah, yeah. So, so would your like show would be kind of like how much your mother mixed with like the office. office yeah. yeah. So it would be oh, a hybrid yeah. like that. My, but, I was thinking the same thing for my show too. Yeah, because I, I just like some people they don't like the office. Like they're like oh it's cringe comedy, but I love that. Like the the fact that they roll on the the cameras and then there's like awkward like awkward um footage and stuff like that. I love that because like people they don't know how to act in that and that's how you see like it's all natural so I, I just love that and I find like if we were to uh, I almost like let out the idea I know you guys would steal it but um, if if that were to get filmed like I know like it would be like hilarious because the amount of times like we have so many funny stories about it if, if you watch our early episodes I think we talked about it for a bit on one of the episodes i think we went over like the whole episode and we we have like enough like uh like content to go on for like more episodes but i won't get into it but yeah do you think you would be a good actor um honestly i think i would like uh if it's like i would cast like some of my friends so it's just a genuine thing and just like writing down and just trying to relive experiences I will, like just a good actor in general like not playing yourself just oh about. Um, it depends what role I'm playing. Soccer player, hundred percent. It's like a soccer player that didn't <laughs> make it to the league, hundred percent. I'd be crying, hundred percent. How about you? Do you think you, you would be a good actor? Um, You're apparently an extra on Riverdale, so. Yeah, I was, I've been on Riverdale um, a couple times actually. Mm-hmm. Um, I I think I would be a good actor. Um, I always thought about like dropping things and uh, pursuing that, but I, not a, the biggest risk taker out there. So who knows? So I'm hoping this will take off, and then some people are like, "Hey, do you mind being on this TV show?" Okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm just waiting for that call. So any directors that happen to watch this episode, which many of you guys are, uh, I think about three percent of our audience is uh, directors. <laughs> um, I'm I'm willing to take your call. Um, send me the right contract. I'll review it with uh, my agent, which I do have for sure, and uh, make a move on. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this is uh, our first episode of Simp 40 Minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, a long time ago, it was email. We talked about TV shows. Uh, of course, I'm Matthew. We, um, what else we talked about? Cold showers? Cold TV showers, shows. yeah. Would you cast us in your show? Let us know in the comment section below. See you later. Peace out. Ah, Sim 40. Sim 40 is uh... It feels so weird. weird. I even timed it. 50 seconds left. Until they come (laughs) in and they're gonna knock the door and be like, Hey, um, just so you guys know. Close the five minutes. Yeah. And um, I kind of like having that in the episode. It's kind of funny. Yeah, no, I kind of like it because it's just like, Oh, it's time to wrap up, you know? But um, I... What I found funny is like a couple... Two weeks ago, I was booking this place and they're like, what time would you like it? And similar situations, probably those two yeah. people, if they're watching this, we're always going to be here. I'm booking. But um, they're like, would you like to book from 5.30 to 7.30? I'm like, seven? What? Yeah, uh, one of the, I'm like, I thought she was like tricking me. So I'm like, do you guys close at seven? And she's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We close at seven. I'm like, <laughs> you almost got, I almost got you, you know? <laughs> really? Yeah. That's hilarious. Oh.